we tackle the issue of 3D hand pose estimation from monocular RGB using neural networks. Typically, such models require a large amount of 3D annotated training data. However, acquiring 3D labeled images is difficult, as it requires complex multi-view setups and laborious manual annotations. Leveraging additional 2D data holds potential to alleviate the 3D data scarcity and so substantially cheaper to acquire. This is typically done by supplementing a fully supervised dataset with additional 2D annotated data. The model is trained with an additional proxy 2D loss that penalizes deviations of the projected 3D pose predictions. However, this primarily benefits the proxy 2D objective, but does little to mitigate depth ambiguity. Thus, while the predicted 3D poses here shown in the middle agree with the 2D projections here shown on the left, they are inaccurate and anatomically implausible. To remedy this, we propose a set of biomechanically inspired soft constraints which encourage feasible 3D poses and reduce depth ambiguity. As a result, the predicted 3D pose is biomechanically plausible and more accurate. The constraints are differentiable, interpretable, and can be included into any deep learning model predicting 3D poses. Prior art ensures valid biomechanics typically by fitting a kinematic hand model via inverse kinematics. However, such optimization approaches are sensitive to initial conditions or optimize in isolation not taking the image into account. Additionally, combining such iterative optimization approaches with neural networks increases training and inference time. Differently, our soft constraints are fully differentiable and only used during training time, omitting the need for iterative fitting. Our proposed set of novel, biomechanically inspired soft constraints model the anatomical limits of the human hand. We integrate our biomechanical constraints, or BMC for short, into neural networks to encourage the predictions of plausible hand poses. The proposed model consists of three functional parts. We represent the hand as a set of 21 3D key points. First, we consider the bone length, penalizing predictions outside of valid bone length ranges. Second, we model the structure of the palm. BMC encourages proper shape by constraining the angular distance between the bones of the palm. Additionally, it encourages proper palmar curvature by interpreting the palm as spanning a mesh. Lastly, BMC models the angles of the individual joints with the help of local coordinate systems. Predictions that contain invalid flexion or abduction angles are penalized. However, the limits are interdependent. We model this interdependence via the construction of a convex hull in the flexion abduction plane for each joint I. Predictions whose joint angle lie outside the respective convex hull are penalized via the angular distance dh. Training a model on fully labeled synthetic and weakly labeled real data yields 3D configurations with correct 2D projections, but biomechanically implausible pose. This is due to unseen 3D pose on the new viewpoints or heavy self-occlusion. Despite this, BMC alleviates these errors by imposing an inductive bias, resulting in more accurate 3D predictions. Similarly, under optic occlusion, BMC helps predicting more accurate 3D pose. We demonstrate the effect of weak supervision quantitatively on the validation split of Freihand. Adding 2D data improves the 2D projection error significantly, here shown in blue, but does comparatively little in bettering the depth error, here shown in red. Hence, the 3D error decline, here shown in green, mainly stems from obeying the 2D projection constraint as guided by the 2D proxy objective. Adding our proposed BMC, we significantly improve the depth error. This results in improved 3D accuracy. Using solely 3D labeled synthetic data, 
and 2D labeled real data. BMC allows us to outperform models that are trained fully supervised on both real and synthetic data. Furthermore, given 2D annotated data, BMC halves the required number of 3D samples to reach a given accuracy in low labeled situations.